Hey, what's up, guys? This is about another video, and today we're we'll doing an unboxing and full review of the new Techno Camo 19. Right, guys? If you're not subscribed, come and subscribe. And if you end up like watching the video, give me a thumbs up. I'll be grateful for that. Right, so let's go ahead and unbox this. The new Techno Camo 19. Right, so the first thing that you get in the box is the phone itself. As you guys can see right here. Put that to the side and see what else we get in the box. Right, so still get your 12 plus 1 month warranty from Techno. Nice. You get your TPU case. Yeah, if it's snugly, I won't be trying it out for you guys in the moment. Right, you also get your 18 watt charging brick. Your SMG tattoo. Still get earphones from Techno. And also, you get your USB C to USB A cable right there. Right, so that's all for what you get in the box. Take a look at the phone itself, right here. Let's remove the strapping. It's actually, there is a lot of glue on this. Right, so this is the Come on 19. In all this glory right here. So I've already used the phone, I've been using it for a bit, like two days. Yeah, so that I can review it for you guys. So I've actually already turned it on. It's already on, but yeah, that's the Come on 19. First thing I want to do is um, try on the case for you guys real quick. So this is the case that comes in the box right here. So that's what it looks like with the case on. Yeah. So I think get that out of the way. We can talk about the phone itself. Right, guys. So moving on to the review. Right. So I'm not talking about the design. So the design here is a. Uh, very nice. As you can see Techno claiming here that they won the design award for 2020 or whatever that is. <laughs> right, but I'll say that design on this is actually very good. And uh, the phone feels steady in the hand. Very solid. I like the flat edges right here. So at the back, you get your cameras 64 MP main camera. And uh, these are the useless cameras, the two of them. Whatever Techno calls it. <laughs> but I don't, I don't really see a function for them. They would have put something else. Maybe one camera that is an ultra wide. Even if it's low quality at least, but yeah, you get nothing. And actually even on the pre, you don't get an ultra again. Very disappointing. Right, so <clears throat> at the back, as you can see, guys, you have, you get this shimmer of color when the light hits it yeah, at certain angles. So it's pretty good design, I'll say. So yeah, on the right hand side here, with the phone, you get your volume rocker and your power button that doubles up as your fingerprint scanner. So I think you have seen that for many iterations now, not new anymore. On the other side, the left side, you get your SIM tray that houses you, whatever you micro SD card and dual SIMs right there. And uh, at the bottom here, you have your single firing speaker, which is a decent quality, but nothing special, yeah. And then you have your USB C and uh, your headphone jack. So back to the speaker again, I'll say that the speaker is, uh, is okay, it gets loud. And uh, yeah, the quality is fine and decent. I think it has improved. They have one speaker only. You don't have stereo, a stereo speaker setup on this device right here. So yeah, moving on to the display. So the display is a 1080p LCD. Yeah, 60 hertz. So you don't get a high refresh rate in here. I'll say that the quality of the display is really nice. They got videos pop on here and uh, the images, as you can tell, really sharp display, very nice. But yeah, like in the high refresh rates, but you know, I, I think I would prefer to have a uh, 1080p 60 hertz than uh, 720p at uh, 90 because, uh, yeah, it looks more premium, you know, <laughs> like you're not gonna be scrolling all the time. The times when you're watching video and you're doing it, would be nice to have both. But yeah, if I had to choose between one or the other, I'd have to choose the, the resolution. So I'll say that this is a decent display. Yeah, it would have been good to have uh, the 90 hertz because uh, if a person who is moving from a uh, high refresh rate display, you're going to notice the difference. That I won't lie to you guys, you're going to tell the difference, especially if you're using uh, like a 120 hertz phone. Moving to this, you notice the difference. But I think uh, as you use it for <laughs> maybe a day or two, you get used to it and uh, your eyes will be just back to that. But if a person who is moving from a 60 hertz display already, then uh, yeah, you'll just be comfortable here and uh, you're getting the 1080p very nice quality display and uh 
yeah, I want to point out that the bases are really thin. I'll just take no. <laughs> I'll also point it out uh, the marketing material. Yeah. The bases on this are really thin. And I think that's very good design. The phone looks premium. Yeah. As I already said, it feels really good. Solid in the hand. Right here. So yeah, that's about the, the display. So we're talking about the software experience here. Yeah, I'm, 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 not, I'm not being a fan of our highways. Yeah, so I'm taking it. I don't like if it things that they do, you know, you don't have uh, Google now. Right here, they have this zero screen, as they call it. If you show you a few quotes here, be curious and judgmental. Every time you scroll back, it's a different one. So yeah, I think some people will like that. I can get you with the information, your RAM usage, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, your recent apps and all that, but I would have preferred to have a... Uh, I would have preferred to have what? The Google Now. Or the news feed something of that sort not that and actually if you go to settings here the desktop settings you can disable that screen but you cannot actually select so go to anything else but yeah this is running android 12 if you're wondering android 12 with ios on top of it obviously yeah you can go to the settings if you guys want to see one right here great version beautiful right hopefully you'll be getting some updates as well <laughs> yeah but that's about the software i'm not a big fan so you can use something like a nova launcher you know to better your experience yeah and uh, the phone does come with a lot of software as well you get these uh usual suspects the likes of phoenix palm store scooper but i think some of them you can remove like this scooper i think you can uninstall don't really like that just continuously send notifications and pop-ups for no reason yeah and actually you can also disable some of them which cannot be uninstalled right so that's about the software experience so moving on to performance so the performance i'll say is decent yeah the yeah, data tasks are going to be fine the RAM management is good yeah you can move back to things and see right there no problems very nice but i'm going to be testing our uh, I'm going to be playing a few games on here, the likes of uh, Call of Duty and eFootball in the gaming review of this phone. It's going to be coming up soon as well. By the time you see this video, probably it will be up as well. Right. But that's about the performance. You get 4GB RAM or 6GB RAM. Sure. If that's what you're looking for, you can get a 6GB variant. But the one I have here is a 4GB version. And I'll say it's performing decently. Nothing special, but yeah, it's performing fine. And uh, this same thing knows I provide the 120 gigs for all. All models, yeah, and the GB storage, and uh, you can also expand the storage via micro SD card, yeah. So that's very nice on that front. Performance is generally fine, but yeah, it would have been better if I had uh, something like 90 hertz on here. <laughs> For a person like me, was gotten used to 120 hertz on a display. Moving back to this, it does feel choppy a little bit, but yeah, the person wasn't been using it, or even a person was been using it, then get used to it if you're not like comparing it to another phone. Like for me, I'm using it, and then I have to go back to my old phone that has like what I wanted to hurt. Then I come back to this again, yeah, and continuously I can notice a difference. But the person who is just using the phone every day, I mean, your eyes are going to get to adjust to this real quick, and uh, not be a problem at all. Yeah, so that's about the performance of the phone. Generally nice. Yeah, so talking about the cameras, it's a 64 MP megapixel camera here at the back. It will shoot up to 1440p videos, yeah. And I'll see the videos are nice, and uh, the photos are also decent, yeah. For what uh, for the price of this phone, you no, know, I can say that uh, the phones I've gotten quite pricey lately. <laughs> but these phones used to cost uh, under 200 dollars. Right now they are, yeah, creeping above that. And, uh, yeah, <laughs> I don't know why that is. Maybe it's because of the chip shortages. Things have been going, but yeah. So talking about the front camera, it's a 16 MP. Yeah, shoot and uh, I'll say it's also fine. Decent photos and you can take a 1440p video on this side as well. Just to key. Yeah, so that's about the cameras. I'll say they are decent and that they can take some good night shots. But you know, you don't get an ultra, you don't get a telephoto. So yeah, not very fast to tell setup. Yeah, and then uh, the last thing I want to be talking about is um, the battery on here. You get a 5000 mAh battery and uh, given 
even you don't have whatever high refresh rates or anything like that stuff i think you're going to be good yeah the battery life is really good i haven't noticed any issues with it maybe the only thing that i'm not satisfied with is the charging speed you know it probably has an enemy charging at 18 watts yeah not the best combination but okay i'll say that for the price see that that's fine it will be fine for sure because i mean it would have been worse with 15 watts or any of that but yeah would have preferred something like maybe 33 watt charging yeah but anyway i think uh, generally i'll say that this is a very nice phone would i recommend it yeah i think i'll give it a pass for sure just for the design and yeah feels feels really good and uh, performs decently but i'm gonna be doing a uh, full whatever gaming reviews as i've said on this phone and uh yeah of other videos as well testing it out in full and, uh, maybe i'll be doing a follow-up video on the performance and uh all the other things the cameras and all that but i might also do a camera review on the device depending on how these videos perform <laughs> yeah i do a camera review and i'm also going to be doing some comparisons here and there some other devices that i have here right so i think there is this that for this video and uh, maybe what i want to see is um uh, if you're interested in buying any of these phones i'm going to be putting links down in the description of all the videos yeah to my gg account that's if you're in uganda by the way only uganda for those in uganda you can uh, buy these phones directly from me you have a couple of phones here the a 33 g is also available you guys have to move that one done all the videos i wanted and uh, the remaining not in pro max as well i won't be linking them down in the video if any of you is interested in buying them if you're in uganda i won't be selling them for decent prices and uh, they're all in pristine condition because i just yeah, buy them to review them and uh, yeah very good condition no scratches and nothing yeah, i won't be selling them on my gg account i'll be putting the links in the description so you guys should look out for that and uh, if you don't find the link probably then it's been sold already but yeah I will be putting those down in the description if you're interested. So, thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.